Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the covered convertible cedar sandbox with the canopy top and the two bench seats. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. Also, for this assembly, I will be using a drill. Feel free to use a drill as well. If you do, make sure you have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. For step one, you need two of part A, the end panels, two of part B, the side panels, and 12 of the F end panel screws. On part A, you're going to see the three holes along each of the sides. You're going to want to make sure you have the small pre-drilled holes on the edge facing upward. On the other side, you're going to see the metal hardware. This needs to be facing towards the inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these larger holes on the very edge here. You're going to line them up with part B where there's the pre-drilled holes right along the end here. And that's where these are going to get screwed into. Now for part B, you're also going to see a side that has two pre-drilled holes. These also need to be facing upward. So you're going to line this up along the side here. Put in the screws and we're going to screw all three into place. Then we'll turn it. We're going to put part A and then part B. So you have the two part A's parallel and the two part B's parallel. Again, making sure you have the pre-drilled holes all facing upward and the metal hardware inserts facing towards the middle. So let's get all these screws put into place. For step two, you need four of the L posts and eight of the Q long bolts. For this step, what we're going to be doing is attaching the post to the frame. Now the posts are going to see these larger indented holes that are going to be towards the bottom here. These need to be going towards the outside. The inside is going to be this extra piece of wood here, which is going to align to these two holes here. So these two holes, we're going to put the post right here, the bolt through here, into these holes and then we're going to use the provided allen wrench to secure these bolts into place. We're going to do this at all four sides, both going into this part A. So one post on this corner, one on this corner, and then the other two will be on the other side of part A. So let's get these put into place. For step three, you need two of part C, which are the outer top boards, two of part D, which are the inner top boards, and 20 of the G long screws. For this step, what we're going to be doing is start placing the boards on the top. First, you're going to find part C, which is going to be the outermost board. This board, you're going to see there's going to be one side that has the larger indented holes. You want this facing upward. This is what you're going to be screwing into, going down into these holes that you should have facing upward these pre-drilled holes along the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this one into place right here along the edge so that you're going to have the two here screwing down into this panel and then you're going to have the two on each ed edge screwing down into this panel. Then you're going to take the other board here which again is going to have the larger indented holes but only on the end this time. These are going to go into the indented holes on this panel and then you're also going to see these pre-dented 
um, places for where the hinges are going to be going and you want those facing upward. So this board is going to go right next to this one here. Make sure that you line up these pre-drilled holes, these larger holes, to the pre-drilled holes on the end panels here before screwing them in. So let's get these all screwed into place. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side so we get four of these top boards put in. For step four, you need two of part E, which are the bench panels, and 18 of the H short screws. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the bench panel on top. When looking at the bench panel, you're going to see the three hinges that are going to be going along. These you need to have up, facing upwards, so you want to see the whole extent of the hinge. What you're going to do is you're going to lay it across the top, and you're going to align the hinges with these grooved hinged marks that already exist. So we want to line them up. So that all three of these hinges fit right into these grooves. Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to take these small screws, we're going to screw into all three holes in each hinge, and get this put into place. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, making sure again that you see this full hinge facing upward and screwing into this already placed board into those hinge preset indentations. So let's get these put into place. is merely an illustration to show you how to open the bench panel to create the bench seat. When looking at the bench panel you just inserted, you're going to see this half moon cut insert into this panel here on all four sides. What you're going to do is you're going to put your hand into this area, you're going to lift up, which should automatically create a bend into this panel. Then you're going to fold it all the way back and all the way down and then let it go. And this is what creates the bench seat. So again, place your hand into here. You're going to fold up, which is going to create that bend. Push it all the way back, and you have your bench seat. For step six, you need two of part I, which are the angled canopy supports, four of the M washers, and four of the O short bolts. Next, what we're going to be doing is placing the canopy supports onto the posts that we already have in place. First, what we're going to be doing is looking at the bolt and the washer that's going to be needed to put the canopy support in. Now, the washer kind of has a beveled or cup shape to it. What you want is the cup shape going this way, the bolt going into that cup shape so that the bolt sits nicely within the cup. So it's going to kind of curve up around the head of the bolt. This then is going to go into the canopy support. You're going to see these larger holes where it's going to fit right into that area. From there, it's going to go into these metal inserts that are in the post. We're going to put one on both ends to hold the support into place. Again, using the Allen wrench, we'll screw those bolts in. For step seven, you need part K, the canopy center rail, two of part J, which are the canopy side rails, and six of the P medium screws. 
So first for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on the two canopy side rails. When looking at the side rails, these are going to be the ones that have the hook and loop tape. What you're going to want to do is have the hook and loop tape facing outwards, coming towards you, where you're also going to see a hole, a pre-drill hole on each end. This is where you're going to screw into the support canopy that we already had put into place. So we're going to place it right like this, screw in each side. We're going to repeat the same thing with the other side rail. And then lastly for this step, what you're going to be doing is putting in the center support rail. Now the center support rail, you will see that there's the pre-drilled holes on each side. You want this to be going up and down. It's going to go into this groove on the very top on both sides. Make sure it is flush with this edge here. Then we're going to take the screw from the top. We're going to go down and we're going to screw this down on both sides. For step eight, you need part S, the canopy. And lastly, we're gonna be putting the canopy on top of the sandbox. When looking at the canopy cover, you're gonna see a decorative edging. This is gonna be going along the side panel here that has the three hook and loop tape patches. Those are gonna to correspond with the three along the decorative edge. Looking at the support panels along the top, those are going to correspond to these along the straight edges. So what we want to do is we want to drape this across, making sure that this hook and loop tape attaches and adheres to all the spots necessary. So let's drape this over. Again, making sure the decorative edge is on the side here. I'm going to adhere around all of the edges that hook and loop tape so that this is secure into place. And that concludes the assembly of the covered convertible cedar sandbox with the canopy top and two bench seats. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown on the next slide. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.